Hello, and uh, welcome back to more Diablo 3 content. Um, level 11 now, back on my Barbarian, Sergeant Tim Bob. And it's time to uh, get on with things. Some monsters to hunt. Let us seek our fortunes together. I don't know whether I need to uh, disable these tooltips because I think some of them have already been up. Someone just gave me this um, like pretty cool rare item. Uh, our friend uh, Apple Mango. Should I use? And uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I've already got this um, rapid smite, uh, which is pretty awesome. But this thing requires level twelve, so I'll be able to equip it soon. I obviously need to uh, get rid of some tat here, so I'm just going to go and vendor it. Yes, yes, I've got. I suppose business will pick up now that the skeleton king is dead. Right, um, I know I could have uh, salvaged some of that stuff for uh, crafting, but to be honest I haven't really looked at the crafting at all yet. We have the second sword piece. Where should I seek the third? I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Oh, brilliant, dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. All right, so it can't be uh, too far away. Wife, don't think I don't see you undressing our fine hero with your. I was thinking. Don't hurt. I need a fairy to wear them. I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. Wow, I've got to say that was the fastest fairy journey I've ever taken. Get out while you can! Death to those who defy the power! We're too late. Family's hiding in the chapel with the rest of the townsfolk. We must get to them. Don't run off. You'll get yourself killed. He's made his choice. Yeah. Need more time. Fools! You cannot keep the sword from me! This is bad. My servants will burn this town to ashes! Not ready yet. I hear something 
Incoming. Quite an enemy over there. We are in for a fight. I am badly. Wow, okay. <laughs> need my help. I'm going on ahead. Yeah, okay, that was... <laughs> I seek the hilt of a sword. It fell from the sky and glows with strange magic. We found it days ago. I wish we'd never brought it here. Come, I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. I'm going back to Tristram to check on Uncle Deckard. Something isn't right here. You think? Damn, it's not here. While you were on your hero's errand here. I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house. Don't, don't, don't. to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. Oh, this pain, this destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. <laughs> Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round, but if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Uncle, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword. Must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle Deckard! Does anyone else think Deku Kane sounds a little bit, um, you know, Sean? It, you know, it's, it's stay a while and listen, Mishmani Pony. If only I could control this power, I could have saved him. Do not blame yourself. Magda is the one who must pay for Kane's death. Magda and her master Belial. Journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. Angel or man, we must return the sword to him. It will restore his memory. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. I am ready for her.
The caves must be up here somewhere. What should I trade? You should talk to Leah now. I'm not good at that sort of thing. Wow, okay. I didn't even know about this. Um... That's just the thing. Great choice. Why, thank you. Are we certain we want to go through these caves? Something is not right here. Still recharging. Spiderlings alone may seem unthreatening, but their presence should be a warning for travelers. For wherever there are spiderlings, there will be matriarchs, and the fully grown arachnids are extremely protective of their young. The spiderlings themselves possess strong appetites, allowing them to do considerable harm to a cornered adventurer. Your fear. That Templar said he was afraid of spiders. Don't tell him that I told you.
God, this place is huge. <laughs> Even tired. Treasure might be the finest thing in the world. There's nothing like it. You speak a great deal. It's one of my better qualities. Not enough fury. God, that's awesome. <laughs> My mistress oh, yeah. has accepted me. Come close and feel her loving embrace. Um, what? <laughs> I need fury. We're not alone in here. Please help me. It's horrible. She sucks the innards from her victims. Oh no. No. <coughs> it's too late. I hear her. The Spider Queen is coming. Spider Queen? time okay
ready yet. Charging. Well, that was cool. <laughs> No, I was thinking we could, you know, hang around a little bit. It's kind of, you know, it's cosy. There's venom everywhere, and yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> Shaman. The Khazra went mad and chased me to the caves. You can find the stuff in my cart in the highlands. If you take it to the Khazra barricade, perhaps they will let you pass. Why do I get the feeling that there are more cultists here? Not enough fury. Look, a rainbow. Oh, it's pretty. Alright, apparently I'm already in the right place. enough fury. I'm still recharging. Shit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fury. Long ago, five clans of the Umbaru tribe left the Tiganze and ventured north. After their transformation into Kazra, only a few elders were still able to use magic, and they passed it down to their cleverest children. These are the Khazra Shaman, and they rank among the most dangerous of their race.